Hi, and welcome to this InSign tutorial. My name is Emma, and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. In this tutorial, we'll look at adding a shape to our flyer. So we'll do two different shapes for you today. With my black um, arrow selected, I'm going to change that to this icon here, the rectangle tool. It might be that you see something else. Just click and hold your mouse, and you'll see that you get other options. We just want the rectangle tool. Before we get started on that, just make sure that my color is set up. You can do this afterwards, but we'll just do it before to save time. So you see I've got a little target icon here now. I'm just going to click and drag out just to fill that space that I want to work with. It's not quite right, but that's okay. I can actually resize that. I need to hop out of my rectangle tool. Until I do, I'll just keep drawing different shapes. So I'm going to go back to my black arrow, and I'll actually delete these that I've done by clicking on and click delete. Okay, this one here, I just need to resize that. I'm just going to drag that down a little bit. If you're finding that it's snapping, you can actually zoom in. Control or Command Plus will just help you drag that down a little bit. And minus, Control or Command minus. Okay, I'm going to do one more of those. So I'm going to grab that icon again and drag out. I'm just going to do one here. Back to my black arrow, and I'll move this up with my arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm just going to move also my text box up with my arrow keys as well. Okay, I'm going to do one other shape, so I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to use this option here, the polygon tool. Okay, I've clicked on this, and I'm just going to double click on that little icon, it will give us a few options here. I'm going to do 50 sides and inset 15%, that's um, how pointy my starburst is going to be. So I'm going to click OK. And I actually want to hold down Shift in this instance, because if I don't, I'll just get some um, an odd shape. I need to hold down Shift to get a perfect um, starburst circular shape. So here we go. If I want to change the size of that now, I obviously need to hop out of my rectangle tool. Uh, my polygon tool, sorry, so I'm going to go to my black arrow, delete all the ones that I don't need. I can also click over and delete, delete that one and that one, and I can now resize that. I need to hold down shift, because if I don't, I'll get a bastardized size. So I'm going to hold down shift and just make this larger or smaller. With my black arrow, and to move this over onto the page, and I'll actually just change the color of that. Let's make it blue. Make that a bit smaller, zoom in a little bit, move my space bar, take my hand tool, let's make this a bit smaller, move it out a little bit, up with my arrows, make my text a bit smaller, it's a previous tutorial for that one. Back to my black arrow. Let's use that preview option, that W, be on my black arrow, click W, see how it's shaping up. Or command minus. Okay, click save, don't forget to save, and those are your shapes. Obviously we can have a circle as well. Holding down shift and holding your alt shift and having your circle there. Okay, that's all for shapes.